Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Hey! Here's the thing, a little, pre slight, a little preamble here. Uh, the big story that just came out this afternoon is about Facebook. But before I talk about Facebook, full disclosure, I've never had a Facebook page. I don't generally, I don't do Facebook. I don't understand Facebook. I only go there when someone posts a link that takes me to a screen that says, to view this link, you have to join Facebook. <laughs> I will never do that, so I don't do that. <laughs> but even I know that this is big news because Facebook is changing its name to Meta. That's right. Meta, as in your Aunt Gloria saying, I met a guy on Facebook who says, <laughs> the vaccine makes his balls magnetic. Now, a long, true story, true story, by the way. That happened to a guy I know, yeah. Mm. He's a human compass now. <laughs> Never gets lost. <laughs> Along with the new name, they have a new logo. Here it is. And of course, since this is the internet, in less than one minute, somebody drew a penis on it. <laughs> That's not us. <laughs> we didn't do that. That's news. That's news. That's original. Are they gonna blur that? Are they gonna... Why? It's just the Blue Origin rocket. <laughs> and, of course, then they put a dick next to it. The name... <laughs> the name... Hey! Hey! <laughs> the name is meant to reflect the company's new focus on its new online digital realm known as the Metaverse. Great, great. So we've reached the part of the movie where the corporation creates their own virtual world, okay? What do you say we skip the whole robot uprising to harvest our organs and just jump straight into the Thunderdome? Because that... <laughs> that's a future I can live with. The company says the name Facebook is not going away. But from now on, we're going to be metaverse first, not Facebook first. But don't you worry, the self-esteem of teenage girls will always be last. <laughs> the announcement... The announcement came in a video by Facebook's chief humanoid simulation, Mark Zuckerberg, who addressed some of the recent controversy the company's gone through. And with all the scrutiny and public debate, some of you might be wondering why we're doing this right now. The answer is that I believe that we're put on this earth to create. I believe that technology can make our lives better. We live for what we're building. And while we make mistakes, we keep learning and building and moving forward. And we will keep building and moving and making bigger and better mistakes. <laughs> There's no point in looking back at what anyone did or said or covered up or shredded or dumped into the river. River what river? Building and learning. <laughs> Zuck described... <laughs> Zuck described the company's new project. When you're in a meeting in the metaverse, It'll feel like you're right in the room together, making eye contact, having a shared sense of space, and not just looking at a grid of faces. And I enjoy making eye contact, because it is something that we as humans do in order to feel connections on an emotional level, a level I definitely have. <laughs> then... I... Then Zuck Markerberg showed off everything that could possibly be in a metaverse. It has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. So, you had the option of being anything in the world, and you chose to look like Mark Zuckerberg wearing exactly what you're already wearing. <laughs> That's like finding a genie and wishing you hadn't. <laughs> Zuck also took some time to have fun with the staff. You know, Boz, I always really wanted a forest in my living room. Did you? Not really. <laughs> 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 Great one, Mr. Zuckerberg. I hope you remember these good times when you choose which employees to hunt for sport. <laughs> but best part about the whole video, without a doubt, was a friendly face I spotted halfway through. 
Imagine your best friend is at a concert somewhere across the world. What if you could be there with her? stage with John, and am I in the metaverse every night? <laughs> Wait, let me change into Black Panther and a t-shirt. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Speaking of theoretical fantasy worlds where things might happen, Congress... <laughs> today... Today... Today, after months of tense negotiations, the White House unveiled its new $1.75 trillion package to overhaul the country's health care, education, climate, and tax laws. Not to mention, it's going to improve mental health, too, specifically mine, because I don't want to talk about this bull anymore. <laughs> do it or don't do it! I'm out! At $1.75 trillion, it's half the size of Biden's original plan, but it is still one of the largest, most progressive pieces of legislation in my lifetime. As White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain Klain explained, <laughs> it's twice as big in real dollars as the New Deal was. Suck it, FDR. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it through a long cigarette holder. <laughs> the plan... Features subsidies for child care and universal preschool for more than six million three and four year olds. Okay. To which parents everywhere replied, What about two year olds who could pass for a three year old? Please, I can't watch any more Peppa Pig. My toddler has adopted an English accent and won't let me eat bacon. The largest single item in the bill, and the most important thing in it, is that Congress is finally taking a big swing at global warming. As Joe Biden... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Nothing else matters. As President Biden explained... This framework also makes the most significant investment to deal with the climate crisis ever, ever happened. Beyond any other advanced nation in the world, over a billion metric tons of emission reductions, at least 10 times bigger on climate than any bill that has ever passed before, and enough to position us for a 50 to 52 percent emission reductions by the year 2030. Yes, Biden. This is so important. This is so important. Biden is trying to protect the planet, not just for his children, but for his children's children who I believe are 45 years old. <laughs> now, then again... <laughs> Man, then again, some big parts of the Build Back Better agenda have been cut back worser. For instance, the plan no longer promises free community college or paid family leave. But don't worry, don't worry, moms. You don't have to go to work while you're in labor. Just Zoom from the birthing room. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, is there any way your doula could mute you during contractions? <laughs> the Build Back Better bill wasn't the only big priority on Capitol Hill. There was also the Congressional Halloween Dog Parade that was described as bipartisan. No, no, bad lawmakers, bad. <laughs> off, off. No silly puns until you fetch me my infrastructure. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Dogs weren't the only ones in Congress playing dress-up. So did Utah Senator and man starting to realize what that bookshop means by adult, Mitt Romney. <laughs> this morning, Romney posted a video of his new Halloween costume, Ted Lasso, with the caption, if you believe in yourself and have clear eyes and full hearts, you can't lose. Unless you're running against Barack Obama, then you get absolutely spanked. Now, 
long time ago. Hey. It was nine years ago. I but remember. still. But still. Now, fans of television might realize that Romney's actually paraphrasing a quote from Coach Taylor on Friday Night Lights. Reminds me of the time Romney dressed up as Luke Skywalker tweeting, You're a wizard, Henry. <laughs> oh, there's some good news on the pandemic front. Researchers have discovered that a cheap antidepressant lowers the risk of COVID hospitalization. It's the drug fluvoxamine. Sold under the brand name Luvox. Not to be confused with the Paul Bunyan themed porno, Lovox. <laughs> and a. Really? People, some people have seen it. Some people have seen it. Mm -hmm. On your hotel bill, it just says Entertainment Partners. <laughs> a 10 day course of. Fluvoxamine costs only $4, but sales haven't really spiked like hydroxychloroquine or ivermectin. As one expert explained, it hasn't really gotten any cult following. <laughs> because it actually works. <laughs> if they want to sell this one to the anti-vax crowd, they have to rename it Dr. Horsey's Microchip-Resistant Ball-Shrinking Anti-5G Suppositories. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. My guests are John Leguizamo and the star of Last Night in Soho, Thomas and Mackenzie. But when we return...